The recent post block displays the list of latest posts that are published on the user's website. This feature will provide the site visitors with a direct reach to the new content, add it to your website, and make them spend more time on your website. Whereas, the popular post block displays the most popular posts on the user's website based on either the view count or the number of comments received by a particular post. Visitors can have direct reach to the articles that other readers have already found helpful. This feature in a website can further help increase user engagement, conversions, and sales. In this video, I will show you how to add recent and popular posts in Sidebar step by step. Please note that you will need to install and activate the Rishi Companion plugin in order to use the recent and popular post block. Now, from your WordPress admin dashboard, go to Appearance and click on Widgets. Inside the sidebar drop-down option, this is the sidebar and you have to click the drop-down arrow to open the sidebar drop-down options. Now, you have to click on the Add Block icon. Here, you have to search for Rishi Popular Posts block. Just type in Popular Posts inside of the box. And here it is. You have to click on the block to add it. And now, the Popular Posts block has been added to the sidebar. You can further configure this block with the help of the block settings on the right-hand side. Please make sure that in order for these settings to display, you have to select the block. It is only after you select the block, the block settings will be displayed on the right hand side. The first option is to change the title. So instead of popular post, if you want to add in a different title, you can remove the title that is already here, then add in the title of your choice. Then, you can increase or decrease the number of posts from here. Simply slide the button over or under. Or you can also increase or decrease from the box here. Then, you can show posts based on the view count or based on the number of comments. I'm going to select views. Then, you can disable or enable the featured image. You can disable or enable the post dates. You can also enable the views count, which will display the views count here. Then you can allow your visitors to open these posts in the new tab by enabling the toggle. Under layout, you can select your preferred layout for the popular posts block. So this is the layout number one, which is selected in default. You can go with layout number 2 or layout number 3. Let's go with layout number 2 and I will also disable the views count. After you are done, click on update. Now let's go to our site and this is the blog page where sidebar is enabled. Give your tab a refresh. And here is the popular post block, which we just added to our sidebar. Let's go to our dashboard. And now let's see how we can add recent post block to our sidebar. Just like the popular post block, click on the add block icon and search for Rishi recent posts. You can just type in recent post inside of the search bar. Here it is. You have to click on the block to add it. And here is the Rishi recent post block. Just like the popular post block, you can further configure recent posts via the provided block settings on the right hand side. First is title. You can change the title by removing the title that is already here. Then you have to add in the title of your choice. You can increase or decrease the number of posts from here. 
let's select tree then you can disable or enable the featured image you can disable or enable the post date you can also enable open in new tab which will allow your visitors to open your recent posts in the new tab then you can select your preferred layout for your recent post by default layout number one is selected you can choose layout number two or layout number three let's go with layout number three this time now click on update let's go back to our blog page so this was the popular posts give it a refresh and here are the recent posts if you have any questions or confusions or if you did not understand anything please do let me know in the comment section below or even better you can directly reach out to our support team i have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in our next video